Uh, hello, I am Shritesh from Raipur. I have recently passed out from National Institute of Technology, Raipur, and I'm currently working with Samsung Research Institute, Bangalore. So current, uh, I'm working on the project implement cross-chain contract invocation using service mesh way. So in this project, I have used Hyperledger Fabric and Hyperledger Bureau uh, EVM and Hyperledger Besu. So my project description goes like this. So basically my project aim was to uh, uh, achieve a con cross-chain contract interoperability between two or multiple uh, networks. So let's say we have a Hyperledger Fabric network as a primary network and Hyperledger Besu as a secondary network. So to standardize these things and in a loosely coupled architecture way, so we have implemented a side mesh library and uh, a relay service, which is a, a event driven service, uh, which is responsible for getting the events from side mesh library and uh, simultaneously uh, uh, doing the transaction on other networks. So we have a function in the side mesh li library. I have used uh, three functions, which is prepare, confirm, and query the global state, which is a kind of a two phase locking mechanism in prepare and confirm uh, functions. So, and the measure is responsible for like invoking the confirm in other networks and querying the global state just like that. So here is a quick architecture of and a sequence diagram of my project. I don't know if it is visible or not, but uh, 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 let's say we have a Hyperledger fabric, uh, uh, Hyperledger Besu as a primary network and Hyperledger fabric as a secondary network. So it just, uh, we have to register and verify some uh, some contracts, some side mesh libraries, which is already deployed in these those networks, and the mesh service is is responsible for invoking the transactions on other networks. So currently, my mentor is uh, have already implemented the three Hyperledger Fabric uh, networks and achieved in contract interoperability in the chain code. So I have a project aim of uh, converting this entire ecosystem in solidity based smart contracts so that it can support multiple EVM based uh, blockchains. So uh, in this project, I have used multiple libraries and framework just like uh, the measure is measure service is built on spring framework and for web for solidity based smart contracts, we I have used Ganache for the primary network and uh, uh, for test test networks and truffle suit for developing and testing the contracts and Java Web3 wrappers to generate the Web3 Java wrappers for solidity. And the Hyperledger Bureau EVM is running on top of Hyperledger Fabric, which is used to deploy the solidity based smart contracts in Hyperledger Fabric. So my project objectives involves first to understand the uh, the already built uh, Hyperledger Fabric based networks and to implement this side mesh library in the solidity. And for this library, I have to made a measure side mesh relay which is responsible for invoking the and uh, subscribing to the events uh, released by this library and uh, simultaneously executing transaction on some other networks and to make a sample network with uh, or with you by, by using all this to libraries and relay so these are my project deliverables it's the same and uh, yeah, so I have uh, accomplished this like the side mesh library and measure lib measure service relay with some initial talks in the uh, design docs, like uh, adding some features or something which is missing in the initial design doc. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
the entire transaction life cycle is also like a little bit tweaked so that it can support the solidity based smart contracts so first i have run into the major challenge of running how to run solidity based smart contracts in on hyperledger fabric so bureau evm is the answer so i have to continuously like uh, use this hyperledger chain code evm and uh, fab3 interface to just uh, building up the uh, evm on top of hyperledger fabric and deploying it deploying my smart contracts on uh using the fab3 in this hyperledger fabric and uh, other network would be the hyperledger besu and ganache and hyperledger besu is just like giving me the wallets and private keys so that i could interact with the network so like uh, another challenge i have gone into like the initial go implementation of chain code is a little bit tough to understand so my mentor helped me a lot in this part and uh, like building uh, but in the go uh, what there is a kind of a hyperledger or fabric support is there for like integrating with the uh, spring framework in java but uh, for the solidity based smart contracts i have to generate the wrappers and all these things so that i could just uh, execute one functions on the on the spring but uh, it was uh, also a little bit like a uh, uh, little bit difficult part to just uh, without the wrappers and running the functions and this stuff. so uh, and for the future works i would like to recommend that uh, supporting as many as evm based smart contracts evm based blockchains so that to achieve the interoperability between like multiple networks and uh, like for this project i have used only two locks to maintain the states between the networks so it would be better if you could add more locks to the system mm -hmm. and uh, giving it a more like a stable architecture and uh, finally the service mesh architecture can be used to can be used in different uh, contract based blockchains so that to achieve a contract interoperability between them and here are some outputs and results so entire code has been uh, has been uh, has been pushed to this organization it has a uh, like a separate repositories of uh, relays and smart contracts and here is the design documentation which i have followed for the transaction life cycle documentation and uh, here is my solidity based library and the sample implementation and for the insights gain i have learned a lot to like first of all i have built a library from scratch using Uh, in the solidity so it would be a like uh, i have to have the multiple uh, multiple support for different different type of use cases so it would be a uh, it would be a good task for me it would be a and uh, the i have learned a lot about the open source development and trying the new things is a bit challenging for me but i would see if and thank you and any questions thank you shritesh um I, i really appreciate your transparency and sharing some of the challenges that you encountered during the mentorship um but i'm also just happy to see all the learnings that you gained through this experience um so i think overall it's a positive experience uh, i really appreciate your contribution and 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 learning about all these different uh, technologies um i don't see your mentors on zoom it's probably too late in their time zone i know both of them are from china so they're not here but um we will be distributing the final uh, evaluation to the mentors this week so i'll gather feedback from them and but also feel feel free to reach out to them as well for any remaining tasks that you need to complete that, that you need to complete okay
sure sure great sure. thank you yeah thank you